pie graphs. Good day students, welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you are going to learn how to construct and interpret pie graphs. Let's begin! Santa's family wants to create a pie graph for their weekly expenses as follows. They spend 1,500 pesos for the food, 600 pesos for light and water, 300 pesos for transportation, and 600 pesos for other miscellaneous. Now let's create a pie graph to show their weekly expenses. But wait! Do you know what the pie graph is? Pie graph is a type of graph which is used to show the relation of the parts to the whole and to each other. A pie graph is in the shape of a circle wherein the title must be written to determine what the graph is all about. Let's say the title of this graph is the favorite fruit of grade 6 pupils. In a pie graph, the circle is divided into parts according to the percentage of each item. The percent, which shows what part of the whole is being represented, is called sector. While the names of the items or categories are the labels, which can also be shown in the form of a legend. Now that you already know what the pie graph is, let us make a pie graph. First step that you need to do is to organize the data. You can organize the data by drawing a table. We need to determine the important facts that you would want to see in your graph. From a problem, Santa's family would want to make a pie graph of their weekly expenses. Therefore, for our first column, we are going to list all the expenses, which are food, light and water, transportation, and miscellaneous. For the next column, let's put the corresponding amount spent for each item. For food, we have 1,500 pesos, 600 pesos for light and water, 300 pesos for transportation, and 600 pesos for miscellaneous. Now for our next step, we need to convert each amount into percent to determine what part of a whole each item represents. But first, we need to get the total amount spent for the expenses. Let us add, we have 3,000 pesos. Now, let's add another column 40 percent there you go to convert each amount into percent we need to divide the quantity or the amount of each item by the total quantity or amount and multiply it to 100 let us try first let's have food the amount spent for food is 1500 pesos divided by the total amount which is 3000 pesos let's divide since 1,500 is smaller, let us add 0. 0.0. There. Now we have 15,000 divided by 3,000, and that is 5. And let us put the decimal point aligned from the dividend. Now 5 times 3,000 is 15,000, and if we subtract this, that will be 0. Now we have 0.5, multiplied it to 100, and that will be 50%. Now that is the percent for food. Next, let's have light and water, which is 600 pesos, divided by the total amount, which is 3,000 pesos. Again, since 600 is smaller than 3,000, let us add 0 0.0. So that would be 6,000 divided by 3,000, which is... 0.2 2 times 3,000 is 6,000 and if we subtract this, this will be 0 Now we have 0.2 times 100 is 20% Great job! Now that is the percent for light and water 
Now let's move on to transportation, which is 300 pesos divided by the total amount, which is 3,000 pesos. Since 300 is smaller than 3,000, let us add 0 0.0. Now we have 3,000 divided by 3,000, which is 0 0.1. 1 times 3,000 is 3,000. And if we subtract this, this will be 0. Now we have 0 0.1 times 100, and that is 10%. Now that is the percent of transportation. Awesome! Lastly, we have the miscellaneous, which is 600 pesos, and just the same as the light and water. It means that they have the same percent, which is 20%. Now this is a total of 100%. Now, the third step is to compute the number of degrees per item. This is to determine how are we going to accurately cut or divide the circle. We all know that a circle has 360 degrees. And to get the degrees for each item, we just simply need to multiply 360 degrees to the percent of each item. Let us try. First, let's have food. We have 360 degrees times the percent of food, which is 50%. First, we need to convert percent into decimal. The decimal form of 50% is 0 0.50. Therefore, 360 times 0 0.50 is 180 degrees. Since 50% means half, and half of 360 is 180. Next, we have the light in water. So that would be 360 degrees times 20%. The decimal form of 20% is 0.20. 360 times 0.20 is 72 degrees. Wonderful. Next, we have transportation, which is 10%. So that will be 360 degrees times 10%. The decimal form of 10% is 0.10. So that will be 360 times 0.10, which is 36 degrees. And finally, we have the miscellaneous, which is also 20%. We have 360 degrees times 20%. And the decimal form of 20% is 0.20. Therefore, 360 times 0.20 is wonderful. It is 72 degrees, which is a total of 360 degrees. And now that we already have our needed data, it's time for our next step, which is to construct the pie graph. In constructing a pie graph, let us first draw a circle. One tip is to use the protector or a compass to accurately divide the circle according to the degrees of each item. But we can also do some estimation if protector is not available. For example, we have 180 degrees for the food, which shows 50% of the whole. Since 50% means half, it simply means that we can already divide this circle into half. And this will be the part for the food. Next, for light and water, it is 72 degrees or 20% of the whole. Let us use a protector with this one. Let us start from zero, then mark until 72 degrees. Here we have 70, and let's just add two lines, so that will be 72 degrees. There you go. Now that is light and water, which is 72 degrees or 20% of the whole. Next, let's go to transportation, which is 10% or 36 degrees of the circle. Again, let us use a protector with this one. So let's start again from 0 and count until 36. Here we have 30, so we just simply need to count 6 more lines. There you go. Now this is our transportation, which is 10% of the whole. Lastly, we have the miscellaneous, which is 20% or 72 degrees. Since we have one last lap, the remaining part of the pie graph will automatically be the miscellaneous, which is 20% or 72 degrees of the circle. Great job! Now for our final step, 
don't forget to write the title. The title of this graph is Weekly Expenses of Santa's Family. Awesome! Now that we are already done with constructing the pie graph, it's time to interpret it by answering some guide questions. Number 1. Which item has the biggest allocation? Here, we can see that the biggest portion of the whole is food, which is 50% of the expenses. Let's have number 2. Which item has the least allocation? Here, it's obvious that the transportation has the least or smallest amount of allocation, which is only 10%. For our number 3, what percent is spent for light and water? It is asking for the percent of light and water, which is 20%. Next, which items have the same amount of allocation? Here, we can see that light and water and miscellaneous have the same amount of allocation, which is 20%. And for our last question, how much is spent for transportation? If the amount or the quantity is not given, you can simply compute for this one by multiplying the percent of that item to the total amount or quantity given. Here, the percent for transportation is 10%, and the total amount of weekly expenses is 3,000 pesos. So that will be 3,000 pesos times 10%. Let's convert 10% into decimal, which is 0.10. 3,000 pesos times 0.10 is... Wonderful! If your answer is 300 pesos, you are correct. Great job students, you made it this far. Now here are the things that you learned today.